everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's Ryan from Movies with Ryan. We're back with another episode of My Favorite Five. Now we're rounding July out, so I wanted to do my last video on the month on some Criterion packaging. My five favorite Criterions that I own that look neat or have some little funny thing to it or a little hidden compartment maybe or what I just really enjoy looking at. So we're going to get into the top five and tell you what they are. We're going to get a little closer look at them. So stay tuned. Starting at number five is a little Cronenberg piece called Videodrome. So let's take a look at why I think this has some great packaging. So breaking into Videodrome, there's nothing super amazing about this case from the outside at least the way it looks but starting off you've got a multi-colored criterion uh, label over here usually this is all the same color but this one's multi-colored kind of like a video um, display rvg or whatever it was same thing on the back they followed over here rvg is probably wrong but hey this is what i really like about this one VHS, Betamax, Hi8, what would you call this? They make it look like a videotape. If you remember back in the days when you used to go to Blockbuster or whatever and rent videotapes, here you go. Just an awesome little idea they put into this packaging and added to it. So at number five is the video cassette packaging for Videodrome. Number four, Repo Man. Again, let's get in and see what I like about this packaging. All right, getting into Repo Man. As you see, the Criterion label here on the side is all one color. But what I really like about this is just the extreme, cool, colorful packaging on this. You got bright greens, Kind of a bone white. But I love the fact that they bring it into the digibook itself. Look at that. I mean, that's just crazy neon greens. The back is the same way. It even follows into the inside of it where they go to that comic book style artsy poster look. And then you got some cool, just retro, funky stuff on the book. I just recently watched this. I wasn't thoroughly impressed on it. Um, I thought it was good for what it was. Definitely was not expecting the sci-fi element of it. But Repo Man. The reason I love this is just how colorful it is. Coming at number three. Dazed and Confused. As you can probably tell why I might like this. Let's take a little closer look and see why. Dazed and Confused. Now they do have another title that implements this same style with the holes cut out in it, and that would be Parasite. But I really like this one because it captures some essence of the movie. It really feels like the 70s. So let's look at this. Again, you've got the circles cut all throughout here. Shows the main characters there. What I like is when you pull them out, you now have continuation of the same characters through those same holes. So like here, you got Matthew McConaughey. You got Matthew McConaughey. You got the girls, you've got the girls. I forget what his name is. There's that. I mean, it's it's really, really, really neat how they do that. Then you get inside, still carries on to that 70s stoner vibe. Comes with a poster, the actual dazed and confused poster. I don't know if I'll be able to get it completely in here but we'll see dazed and confused how many criterions do you know that come with a poster i thought that was a cool addition that's one of the reasons why this ranks up high on criterion packaging and of course they've got the really really nice book with all the contents in there again carries through the style of the movie and really delves into it greatly Again, it's carried over the colors, the color palette from the 70s, 
you've got the back, you've got the same thing going on here. But for my number three choice of cool Criterion packaging, Dazed and Confused gets my pick. Number two, Lone Wolf and Cub. You may already know this one if you know the secret, but let's get in it and see why I like this. Lone Wolf and Cub. Something I haven't delved into yet. I need to watch these. Now, I've seen Shogun Assassin. I've seen it a long time ago, which is the butchering of the first two movies as they were stitched together for an American audience. But what I really like about this packaging, other than the cool samurai theme and all that and the, the manga style art, you get in here, carries on over, because this is based on a manga, a book series. You've still got that same same carryover all the way through. So it really feels like you're reading the book it's based on. Of course, then you've got the really nice book to go with it. With all the information. But here's what I like most about it. If you do not know this secret, here you go. Now this looks just like a normal Blu-ray box, correct? Here comes the secret. You flip open the end of it. And what is this? If I can get it pulled out of here. As you can see, there's just a little pocket in here. And you pull it out. And this is probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. It is the blueprints to the Samurai's baby cart and how he uses it to defend the baby. Just red on the back. I don't have to pull it all the way out. But it even down here at the bottom has what every little thing is on here. And it's just cool. Um, it took me a while to find that. I actually was uh, watching somebody's unboxing on this and they stumbled on it. So I started looking, I was like, no, this can't be all of them. And sure enough, uh, the majority of the print runs have this little hidden compartment in the Lone Wolf and Cub. So if you own Lone Wolf and Cub and didn't know that, go check yours and see if it's in there. But that is what makes this my number two favorite Criterion packaging. Last but not least, coming at number one, the Zatoichi Blind Swordsman box set. Now, there may be a reason why I really, really love this, but let's break into it and take a closer look. Number one, Zatoichi, the Blind Swordsman. Now, there's a couple box sets I could have easily pulled out for this. Uh, the Bruce Lee box set, Seven Samurai, the Once Upon a Time in China set that just came out recently, even maybe the three colors in the before trilogy. But what I like about this one, A, it's Samurai. I love Samurai. B, this is just super colorful. Now I've not broken into this movie set yet, and you'll see why. So we got Carry On, Carry Over. There's Zatoichi himself. And this is what I love about Criterion Packaging. A nice, book that explains everything and goes through all the different movies. Do we have any pictures in here? The films. Yes, yeah, so it breaks down each film and I believe there's 25 or 28 films in this set. Of course, Zatoichi also has, I believe, a book series. I don't know if the book series came before or after the movies. But that's the other reason I like Criterion, is just the wealth of information you'll find in their books. And let's break into the actual movie book. This thing is hefty. Again, I love the art that carries over with it, very comic book stylish, like 60s or 70s comic book style. And the colors are beautiful. And then of course you open it up. Now each disc looks like it has three movies on there. So as you can see, there's one disc. There's two discs. And they carry on the theme. So each one is, each page is themed differently with the different color uh, sequences in that. Like you got your yellow, white, and blue. Yellow, white, and blue. 
green, blue, and orange follows through. Gold and black. Yellow, blue, and red. Blue, green, and white. 25 movies plus supplements. And this just awesome, awesome Criterion package. Zatoichi is my number one of my favorite Criterion packages I own. That does it, folks. Five of my favorite Criterion packages in my Criterion collection. I like each one of those for a little bit of a different thing, but what it boils down to is just the care and consideration that Criterion puts in every single one of their releases, whether it be a specific art style, supplements, bonus features, little hidden surprises, but overall their packaging is great. So that's going to do it for this video. I got one thing to say though. Thursday night, tomorrow, we'll be on a three-way battle, 4K Lowdown. Bearded Four Eisman and myself, we're going to go for the geriatric hip breaker event. No holds bar, I believe 11 rounds, free for all. It's going to be fantastic. Sunday, I've got my live stream, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, my channel. I got KB Loves Movies, 20 and 21st Movies, James, Tony over at Basement Blues, and of course, Tim, which has been fantastic to me on live streams. Tim from Tim Talks Talkies. We're going to be doing a July Criterion Sale wrap-up where we talk about everything we picked up for the month, any Criterion we watched for the month, and what we're excited for at the next sale. So catch us Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern for that. Tomorrow, Thursday, the battle on 4K D-Ray's channel at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. And that's going to do it. Like I always say, it's Ryan for Movies with Ryan. Until I see you again, have a fantastic night.